we live in a universe in which everything is in harmony if we are. Every form in nature, natural or artificial, has a magnetic field. From the tiniest atom to the greatest galaxy, the magnetic fields are present, and the rules of each of them must be obeyed. Each human body is surrounded by an etheric of the energy field. This energy field is sometimes referred to as an aura. This area of energy forms a, an egg-like atmospheric sheet around the physical body. The whole survival of the individual depends upon maintaining the integrity of this flow of energy into the magnetic field. The moment we break rules, we damage that magnetic flow. This energy field moves emotion, thought, and the attitudes of the person around which this magnetic field is gathered. The individual is there keeping the rules. This magnetic field forms a tremendous protection. And the law of the energy field, just by coincidence, is also the law of integrity. Integrity is simply keeping the laws and rules of energy field. Integrities in all fields are compatible. All lack of integrity, all departures from integrity in any or all fields are in conflict constantly. The only way the individual can escape conflict is by never abusing the energy factors of his own life. his emotions or his mind, he must never permit himself to develop attitudes that are incompatible with the integrities which nature has bestowed. The magnetic fields are absolutely honest. There is no possible way of making them dishonest. The only thing we can do with them is to destroy or limit the manifestation of their integrity. If we break the rule, we lose the benefit of that particular energy. When we lose that benefit, we then say that evil has come to us. But it is not an evil thing that has come to us. It is the failure of a good thing to be developed and purified and intensified. The magnetic fields are also in a state of constant evolution. They are in evolution in the life of the person. The individual may be born on a certain level of magnetic integrity. If he becomes a better person, he strengthens these uh, values in himself. Because actually, it is all a matter of gradually strengthening the perfection of an energy resource. Now, no one is going to perfect it in one life or a hundred lives maybe. But he's going to grow. And the more integrity grows, 
the more rapidly the individual becomes harmoniously adjusted to the principle of life to which he belongs. In our world at the present time, we are in a sad state in which practically everyone has broken every conceivable illusion. We are living day by day, trying to live off the profits from our own mistakes. And it is not really possible. We are not re realizing that this has nothing to do primarily with the theology. This has nothing to do with laws of government. This has nothing to do actually with our legal code. It has to do with the relationship of energy to its proper ends of purpose. We know what it's supposed to be, we know what it's supposed to do, and we know that it isn't accomplished. Now we they would say that something we might say is integrity, is not a thing. It is something, an attitude. It is an approach to a thing. But this is not really true. Integrity is also a magnetic field. Everything is. Sorrow is a magnetic field. Uh, also water is a magnetic field. Everything that has an existence has a magnetic, magnetic field. It may have not one that is not even visible. And the whole of our atmosphere, the whole of the world in which we live, is one mass of magnetic interplays. But as long as these are kept honest, they are all compatible. And a universe in which there was no dishonesty would be free from every infirmity. Everywhere it is energy, energy that must be properly used.